Hello, hello, me, me makers. Another Thursday, another pretty preview for what's coming tomorrow on Friday. So I know that I've scheduled this for a little bit later in the day, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Right now is the time that I can relax and uh, show you all of the pretty things that are moving into the Mimi shop. I do hope that um, maybe you have some time to watch this with me. And if not, if you're watching this recorded, still absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. Zell's here. Jocelyn is here. Hi, hi. Yes, you are watching live. Janice from BC is here. Who else is here? Send me a little message if you're here. Jane. That is so wonderful. Maybe it's better to do it at this time. Well, maybe I'll have to do a poll. Who wants the morning videos and who wants the evening videos? Well, evening, afternoon, really. All right, Amanda. Thank you. Don't you love it? I love it. I love especially the set. Hold on, let me show you this. So that's the sweater I wanted to wear last week, but I hadn't blocked it yet. So before blocking, it was like skin tight like this, and then I blocked it, and now it's exactly the way that I want it. So it has the little side slit detail, and I have my and I have my top down knitted sleeves with the. I like that it has the. Um, the rib uh, here to kind of emphasize where the sleeves are and it comes along, along the, the whole side. See how the ribbing kind of meets up here? It's a really beautiful pattern and I absolutely love the yarn. It's a merino yarn. It's the scap yarn, which we do have in store now. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. So thank you, Amanda, for um, commenting on my sweater. Um, all right, let's dig right into all of the new arrivals for tomorrow. So where do I start? I'll start with all of the goodie, uh, my goodie bin that I have here. Um, lots of uh, bits and bobs that we all need that arrive. Number one, Gravit came out with this really nice design line of their uh, magnetic pin cushions. And like, how fun are these? So these are the marble pin cushions and they do have a cover on them. So I like to use mine, you know, after I sew, I just sweep it across the table and the floor and whatever, wherever the the uh, pins may have landed, they will just um, adhere to the magnetic pin cushion. And then you put your cover on and they are cleaned up because, you know, there are the odd ones that just get lost along the way. Then there's this one, which I also really like. I saw that. I think they just came out with that. So that's the Prim Love one. So you have the magnetic pin cushion in the middle. And this one has a little groove, so it's a little bit easier to pick them up when they uh, line up like this. And then it has this ring where you can put your bobbins in, and you can take that off, so you can use them separately. I sometimes have my ring just like on my grid wall, but you can also use them together. And then this also comes with a convenient case at the bottom where you can put some extra needles or little things that you need handy in there, and then it all just goes together. Like especially if you're going to classes or you may be traveling a lot to like the cottage or wherever it is that you go, it might be good to have this one that has all the things in one place. So these also coming tomorrow. And there's this really cool book um, because we do have people coming in. They're like, I have all these fat quarters, but all of the quilts that I want to make, they don't use fat quarters. So I found this book called love fat quarter quilt so all of the quilts in here are made with fat quarter so if you want to um get our fun fat quarter bundles or uh come into the shop and shop for like a variety of fat quarters there's some really nice ones that's a really pretty one let me see there was one that i really should have probably put bookmarks in there so that i don't have to just oh this one's really nice how fun is this one? This one's really nice. And I'll show one more. One more. This one. Super modern. Really like this. It's all half square triangles. And um, yeah, so there's a how many? There's 20 projects in this book. So we have a couple of these books. Great for fat quarters. So now you can't complain about the fat quarter quilts anymore. All right, then my children's favorite tool right now are the pom-pom makers. So there's three different ones, and I'm going to explain what all the differences are. So this is the basic set, 
uh, that comes with three sizes in this little box. So it comes with um, nine centimeter, five centimeter, and 3.3 .3 centimeters. So it's, uh, why is it called the basic set? And you've seen these before. So this is the big one. Um, so you would put these together, and now I can't remember how, oh, right here. So you put these together. There's some instructions in there on how these go together. Uh, and then you wind, you wind your, uh, you wind your pom pom on these things. They clip together, and then you cut them in the middle, and uh, boom, your pom pom is done. And there's uh, there's video instructions on how to use this one. So three sizes for thirteen dollars here. So now we also have the premium ones, which are the ones that my children chose because for them and their little hands it's much easier because they don't have to hold on so hard. So this is the big one, comes with two sizes. So instead of having just these that you have to hold, um, you have this tool here that opens and closes. Uh, and there's a cla cl cl clasp that just snaps together. So then it, uh, so it will start out uh, with them open like this open. I should have brought the one I have at home that my kids have been using. So you start with it open and each of the two sides have to be wrapped with yarn. So you wrap, wrap, wrap until the bottom is covered like this, like until it lines up like this. Like So lots of, a lot of wrapping by my kids and they love it. Um, so both sides, when you've completed both sides, uh, then you clip it together and you put a string through, there's a hole here, here, so that you can put a string all around after you cut it. So you cut each of these open after you've clipped it together, put the string through and you're done. So it's my kids can do this by themselves. They're seven and eight uh, and they do an awesome job. So this one comes with two sizes so you can exchange those uh, plates to make different sizes of the pom-poms. And then there's the smaller one as well obviously they're faster so they're going to be finished really quick uh this one takes them a little bit longer so there's these two sizes that i have at home my kids love it what i do like about this set though is that it comes with the mini mini pom-pom so if you want to make a like a pop pom-pom garland for let's say some christmas crafty projects uh or another one that we're going to show you pretty soon that we're doing with this one we needed that really really teensy tiny size and that doesn't um the one in this one is not quite as small. So this one's a little bit smaller. Um, and also it just comes in a box. So up to you, which one works best for you. We have all of them in stock and they will all make beautiful pom-poms. They're all quality products from Prim, which we love. I think that was my box here that I wanted to show you. And now to the even more exciting part. So there are some new cottons that came in. And this one, I think the whole collection has about 12 different prints, but I just brought a couple so that you can kind of see the color palette on it. So it's really nice fall tones with purple, mauve, uh, a cream, an almond, um, and a taupe. It's really nice. And this is called Squirreled Away by Louis and Irene. Uh, and so some, of these, so I think there's three, three or four different prints, and then they all come with different colored backgrounds. So this one has little squirrels and hedgehogs and mice on it with some um, fall leaves and some nuts. Oh, this is so soft. So beautifully soft. This would be really nice as bag lining. Uh, it'd be really nice for quilts, obviously, but also for like little girls dresses. How nice would this be in a nice fall inspired dress? or like a little, or maybe a little aprons or oh, so many ideas. So this one is um, has the mice and the hedgehogs on it. It has some rose hips, some berries. I think they're called berry thieves. And I do like how they did the mice here. See, they form a heart with their tail. How cute is that? And then there's a the little mushrooms and all these beautiful colors in this. Uh, and that is one of the few green tones in it. Then there's the darker purple. And again, this is the squirrel and the mice. And then there's one, um, this one is the light burnt orange. And this one has only mushrooms on it. 
only mushrooms, you know, mushroom season is upon us. So I'm sure there's going to be lots of ideas, lots of ideas on what you can make with this beautiful fabric for the mushroom lovers. I, for one, absolutely love mushrooms, mushroom soup, grilled mushrooms, mushroom anything. I love, love, love mushrooms. Any other mushroom lovers in here? Raise your hands if you love them mushrooms. All right, and then there's this is the uh, the cream color. And this one has uh, just the uh, the squirrels and some bigger mushrooms and fairies on it. Also, absolutely gorgeous. And they all work together, all of these. So you can't really can't really go wrong with any of these. Some more squirrels. Oh, these two are the squirrels that I wanted to show. So this is the uh, this is the other purple in the collection so and there's a whole bunch so i did show you all of the types of prints but then there's different colors in the mushrooms there's different colors in the squirrels and so on but they're all mix and match hooray for mushrooms lady jaja there you go so i'm not the only one. Oh, there's a few more cotton these i'm very excited about and i think my boys will be as well so i'm trying to think of what they would love out of this so this there's two three galaxy prints and what's really special about this is that this is actually a real image of space um this is a nasa print so this was taken with the oh i don't want to say it wrong is it the hubble so it says web space telescope from the hubble station oh i did put the whole description on what do you see in each of these pictures so i don't get it wrong but if you go to the product and you look at the description it will tell you exactly what you're looking at if you want to know more about this and this is absolutely fantastic so this one i would definitely encourage you to get at least a meter of it because i think that's the repetition just about um, so you get all of this on what you're getting and like all these beautiful stars and the print is done so, so well. So this is one, which is the, uh, the gray space image. And then there's the other one and it is the purple. And again, in this one, it does explain to you um, why it has these colors. What are you looking at? what is depicted on here so this is a real life image of space and again it will tell you it'll give you a really beautiful description um, on what you're looking at and i think that's what makes this so so special and the colors on this are absolutely phenomenal phenomenal and then to round off this collection there's these blueprints of um satellites also uh, from NASA, the hidden universe is what it's called. And then what else does it say on here? The NASA Lockheed Martin. Yeah, so it's it is um, it's really cool. Definitely, I have lots of people in my family that will appreciate this, even if it's just an accent pillow on their bed. I feel like they're gonna really appreciate this print. You know, this would look how cool would this look in a shirt? Like a button-up shirt would look really smart. Uh, and then last but not least, we got this fun collection in by, so it's a uh, cotton and steel and the designer is Neko Nu Yume. No, I think that's the, that's the collection. That's not the designer. Neko Nu Yume is the collection and the designer right here, Hitomi Osumi is the designer of this beautiful collection so we have two of the prints so this is the sushi and cat loving um cat sushi cat sushi loving cat uh print and then a coordinate would be this one which is uh the blue fabric with all the little kitties outlined i really like the style of this i feel like a lot of people will want to use this even if you even if you're sewing with your knits i think you could uh do peekaboo moments with this if you did like pockets on a shirt um or um you know peekaboo pockets on pants um that'll look really nice but again button-up shirt in this one will look really really smart or a skirt 
like a nice um, gathered skirt would look really nice. All right, and where do I continue? Hmm, hmm, which one do you want to see next? Okay, I will, I think this is one that everybody's been waiting for, is this one. It's the green pixel fabric, I want to say, but you know, it does remind all of us of Minecraft, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's green pixels officially, but really we're all thinking Minecraft. And that's why my children love it. So we do have this from the bolt if you need certain cuts, but we did because we do think that you guys are gonna love this. We're just giving this a try. So we have these two meter pre-cuts. They're pre-cut, pre-washed, pre-dried, all with um, mild detergent, uh, no scent, um, and ready to sew. So no scent, just fresh and um, awesome. So definitely snag up a couple of these bundles. There's a little bit of discount if you get the pre-cut because, uh, you know, it makes everyone's life a little bit easier. So this is the one that I made up for my uh, eight-year-old. So I did the hood. So this is the uh, Frederick hoodie by Jali. And um, I did basically the whole hoodie out of the pixel fabric. And then I did the two by two rib in black on the cuffs. I used black jersey for the hood, no, actually black French terry for the hood lining. And for the top stitching, I used the, um, the Gudeman neon green because none of the greens quite hit the greens in there. So I felt I didn't want any near misses. And the neon green actually looked really fantastic in this. So I do recommend the uh, 100 meter spools of the neon green fabric, uh, fabric thread from Gudemann, which I also used here. So I did put that in my cover stitch in my euphoria. I put the two little spool uh, on the needle stands and I think it looks really, really nice. And then with my embroidery machine, um, I did actually Courtney did it. Okay, you got me but it was still our embroidery machine here. We did the um, the axolotls, the Minecraft axolotls, because my eight-year-old is obsessed with them. So we, before I sewed all of this together, I embroidered this. Courtney embroidered this. <laughs> Courtney embroidered this on the, on the pocket, and then I cut it out so that it would uh, be centered. So um, if you have an embroidery machine, I encourage you to do something like this. I mean, it just adds a lot of fun to it. If you don't have one, we can help you with that too. We do have some beautiful embroidery machines, even the entry level ones that will do uh, things like this really beautifully. I'm more than happy to talk about that with you. Um, and then the second really cool fabric that came in is this one. So this is a panel and I have a kid that likes all the Halloweeny and scary things. So he was, you should have seen his eyes light up when he saw this uh, and he really, really loves this. So this is what the panel looks like. This is probably one of the biggest panels I've seen so far because the panel is a full meter in height. So this is a massive, massive panel. So one meter by a meter 50 is what you get with this, which is plenty of fabric. So I was able to make the entire hoodie out of a meter and I could have probably gotten more out of it. So here's what I did. So see how much fabric there. So I was able for my kid to cut the front and the back out of this. So this is a size seven hoodie that I did front and back out of the black. And then I did the sleeves, um, the hood. Yeah, the sleeves and the hood out of this. And I still had lots left. So I could have, I can probably make another um, sweater, like parts of a sweater out of this um, if he wanted me to. So if you're doing adult stuff, uh, you can definitely, um, well, that came out wrong, an adult hoodie. Um, you can easily cut an adult hoodie or a long hoodie out of this front and back. Uh, and then you might have to just substitute some extra black to make the rest. But like that is a lot of fabric on this one meter panel that you can get. So Jocelyn says she needs that panel. So I hope you get one tomorrow. And again, I had a hard time finding a green that matches this. So we don't have a French terry that's exactly this green. Um, so what I did and I thought it matched perfectly was I did a neon yellow uh, lining on the hood. You could also do a neon pink or a neon green, 
neon orange. So I think the neon colors work really well with that type of um, fabric. So that's what I did here. And then again, I did my top stitching with the neon green uh, Gudemann thread with the 100 meter spools in my, uh, in my cover stitch machine. If you don't have a cover stitch, you can easily do this with a twin needle in your regular sewing machine. You're just going to need, uh, again, two spools of that thread. Madison also wants a panel, so I guess some people are going to have to have fast fingers tomorrow because I'm not sharing my hoodies or my, my boys will not share the hoodies with you guys. All right, so those are, uh, that is that. Uh, and then we have these gorgeous things. Oh, did I, where did I put my scissors? I piled everything on here and now I can't find my scissors because we're in a sewing shop and there's no scissors to be had. So I'll just have to show it to you like this or see if I can slide this up. So this base, as you might know, does not come in as often as we would like it to. Um, this one is a cotton modal blend French terry. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the softness from the modal, but you get the hold, um, the hold and body of the cotton, which is so, so nice. Um, this one is a large scale rose print. You see this? So you have basically the majority of it is black and then the outline of these roses is this electric um, blue. So this is a cobalt blue, if you wanted to match that and it's absolutely gorgeous. So the stretch on this is absolutely fantastic. And I know if you do happen to come to the shop and I will make you touch it, you're gonna be like, yes, now that I've touched it, I need this. So for everybody who cannot come in and touch it, if you're on the fence on it, then uh, I'm gonna tell you that you need it because this is uh, absolutely fantastic uh, to the touch. It's really, really soft. And that same fabric we also have in this colorway. So it's the black with the red roses. Uh, well, he say knows. He say knows that uh, the cotton modal blend is great, and um, we don't have a lot of it. So um, these two have just come in. And then because I like my viscose fabrics, we also got this. And now I realize I think I called this a viscose chalet. Uh, online, but it's actually a viscose twill, which is even better, especially for fall season, um, for a little like you know medium <clears throat> weight dresses for pants. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little dusty in here. So this is a viscose twill, so it's a little heavier than a viscose chalet, and this will make some really really nice dresses. A calla shirt would be really nice, like the dress shirt. Oh my. My nose is itching because like moving all this fabric got all the, the dust uh, going in here. Anyhow, fantastic color. Do look at the additional pictures of the product. So if I have pictures of uh, these items sewn up, I always add additional pictures to the products. And this one has uh, some pictures. The roses have some pictures. Um, definitely take a look at those uh, to make sure you're sufficiently inspired. Um, and uh, last but not least, if you have made a purchase with us within the last, I want to say, two days, you might have gotten a sample of this in your bag. And we're very, very excited about this. So I don't have a sample here to show you, but I think I've added at least five sample pictures to the product page of these. So this is a qu quilted velvet, and it is also dreamy soft. Um, it's amazing. And it's already pre-lined. So it already has an interfacing in it. It has a really beautiful hold. And not only is it great for garments, like if you're making a jacket um, or yeah, mostly jackets, I want to say, would be amazing out of this. And there are some samples for the jackets in the pictures. But for bags, this is going to be fantastic. And there's a sample picture of a uh, of a fanny pack. Uh, one was a backpack and the other one was a crossbody bag. But no matter which one you choose, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. I had a lady here today. Uh, I gave her the sample of this and she was already dreaming of an evening bag in the burgundy. Maybe uh, embellish it with some Swarovski crystals or some some pearls. That would be really nice. Hisai says she needs to make a bag. If she's lucky, because Hisai is not here this week, 
So you guys have a chance to snatch this up before he sigh. So gotta have fast fingers, but um, I guarantee you, you're gonna love this. So this is really, really soft. It has a beautiful texture, nice hold, no need to interface. <laughs> and there's a lot of beautiful colors. So this was the red. Then we have this beautiful bright golden ochre. And you can see like how the velvet has like the nap. And then as the light bounces off of it, it has this beautiful, beautiful tone to it. And of course, my personal favorite is the mauve. Even as like a pillow, this would be nice because it's so soft. You could even do reupholstery for some chairs out of this. It does have a Martindale scale of 90,000. So if you remember, I have explained the Martindale scale before. If you did not hear me talk about this very interesting topic, the Martindale scale um, tells you how many rubs this can withstand before uh, it starts having a hole. So that means this can have 90,000, it says greater than 90,000. So more than 90,000 rubs before this will have a hole. So this is considered industrial grade stuff. So this is gonna be amazing for bags or chairs or whatever you wanna put it on. It can be your next Frank's hot sauce <laughs> to like put that on everything material. And this is already, as far as I know, this is a one-time thing. I did not see that the supplier is getting this back. So I think that this is a special collection. So just wanted to put that out there uh, that um, it looks like we won't be able to get this back. Now, this is the blue. It looks very regal, doesn't it? Because it has that beautiful sheen, almost looks very silky. You know, it's not silk, but it does look silky. It feels very silky. It's very luxurious. And um, then we have this uh, tealy blue, steel blue. Is that what we, we call it? I can't remember what I officially called it, but it is like a bluish gray. And it's really, really soft. And I just want to snuggle it because it's so nice. And then we have this darker gray. So just for comparison, the gray next to the steel blue, you can see the difference. Maybe this is sage. Could be that this is sage, like a sagey blue. Now it looks green to me now that I see it next to a different blue. So it's very, very gorgeous. I don't think you can go wrong choosing either of these. Like I am, I am building myself a wall here. All right, but last but, last but not least is the always elegant black. And uh, it is a dark black, I assure you, the light is just really bouncing off of this right now and my camera doesn't like to adjust to it. So that was some heavy work. I hope there's some things that you uh, really, really um, enjoy that you want to sew up that inspire you. Um, also, I did want to mention that next week, Saturday, August the 20, is that the 25th? So next week, oh no, look i don't have my date straight what what uh august the 26th saturday august the 26th so that would be not this weekend but the weekend after we actually have a mini uh open house again which we haven't had in a while so we will be open that saturday from nine to five and we will also have a mini studio day uh, I just realized that I had forgotten to put that online. So there is a Mimi Studio Day that you can book to. So in the Mimi Studio for the day, if you would like to. Um, also, we have reworked our sales section because people found it really hard to navigate. I completely agree with that. So now if you go to definitely check it out. Uh, if you go to the sales section, uh, there is the sales section. We have the bolt ends as usual. Then we have things that are newly on sale. Uh, and then we have them sorted into discount levels. So there's 30%, 50%, 70%, and we might have updated some prices. So definitely take a look if there's some gems in the in the uh, higher discount levels. There's some goodies in there for sure, I promise you. The Wisco Swirl, would it be good for the Jalie Giselle top? Now, I don't know. Which one is the Giselle? Is it one of the woven ones? Is it the... Um, now you have to help me out which one is the Giselle. I'd have to look at, so all of the, so I don't know what they're all called, but I know that, uh, that Jali has like the romper, that it has the, like just the scoop neck top. 
there's uh, so all of their woven patterns you could do out of that all of the ones that I know right now but I would have to take another look and I'll get back to you but as far as I know my interim answer is yes um yeah I think that was uh what I wanted to say also oh yes I just wanted to mention for the knitters out there we have now um added another Instagram account for the knitters um so the sewists that are absolutely not uh, interested in knitting don't get all spammed by me with all my knitting tips and tricks it's called Mimi Fabrics underscore knitting so if you want to have some more fluffy yarn and knitting uh, related things in your feed definitely follow us at Mimi Fabrics underscore knitting on Instagram as well um, and yeah I think that's all that I needed to say today yes you recommend yep if it recommends the viscose jelly you can use this one as well Jane all right, so I uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, keep on commenting if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them as quick as possible. Enjoy the rest of your day, and tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when all these